Hello my dear students, welcome you all to my YouTube channel M Ahmad Study Circle. In today's video, we are going to discuss the question answer of the poem A Work of Artifice written by Marge Piercy. I have taken this poem from Treasure Chest Class 9. So now, without wasting our time, let's get started. Read the following questions and select the correct option. Question number 1. What does the word artifice in the title of the poem, A Work of Artifice, mean? And the answer is trickery. Question number two, which of these statements is not true? So, which of these four statements is not true according to the context of the poem? And the answer is women are themselves responsible for their plight in society. So, this particular statement is not true according to the poem. Question number three. Which of these attributes are not generally associated with women by men in patriarchal societies? So, the answer is dependence. Question number four. How does the gardener feel as he addresses the bonsai tree? So, the answer is happy and proud. Question number five. Why are women's feet bound in some cultures? To make them small and look attractive. And this was practiced earlier in China. But now this thing is not practiced anywhere in the world. Question number six. What would have happened to the bonsai tree if, had, if it had not been pruned? And the answer is it would have grown 80 feet tall. Question number seven. The tone of the speaker in the poem is. And the tone of the speaker in this poem is solemn. Question number eight. Select the option that best suggests uh, that the poem is talking about women. And the answer is the crippled brain, the hair in curlers. Question number nine. What is the theme of the poem? And the answer is social conditioning is used to prevent women from flourishing to their full potential. Question number ten. Which of these figures of speech is extensively used in the poem? And the answer is metaphor. Now, we are going to discuss the comprehension passages. So, some of the passages, some of the stanzas are given from the poem. And based on the same stanza, there are some questions asked and we have to uh, discuss their answer. So, this is the stanza. This is the passage given. The bonsai tree in the attractive pot could have grown 80 feet tall on the side of a mountain till split by lightning. But a gardener carefully pruned it. It is 9 inches high. Question A. What kind of tree is a bonsai tree? What does it stand for in the poem? And the answer is, the bonsai is a small decorative tree that is grown in a pot. It is prevented from reaching its normal size. In the poem, it stands for a woman oppressed and suppressed in a male-dominated society. Question number B. Where could it have grown fully? What has stunted its growth? Answer. It could have grown fully on the side of a mountain. Carefully pruning by the gardener has stunted its growth. Now it can grow till 9 inches high in the place of 8 feet high. Question number C. Who does the gardener stand for in the poem? Why does it not let the bonsai tree grow to its full potential? And the answer is the gardener stands for a man, a lover, or a husband in the poem. So basically we are talking about a male dominated society, a patriarchal society. He continues to prune the bonsai tree and does not let it grow. He believes that it has to remain small and weak to look attractive. Question number D. Why does the gardener want the bonsai to remain small and weak? What is its implication to the poem? And the answer is the gardener wants the bonsai to remain small and weak so that it can mold the tree to the shape he desires. It implies that the husband or society or the lover wants their wife or woman to remain indoors and be dependent on them for her or for their protection. Question number eight. What is the main idea projected in the poem? And the answer is the main idea projected in the poem is that if anything or anybody is not allowed to grow, it will remain underdeveloped and weak. This is true in the case of bonsai trees and women in the male-dominated society. Now, we are going to discuss passage number two. 
So the passage number two, or we can say stanza number two, is every day as he whittles back the branches, the gardener croons. It is your nature to be small and cozy, domestic and weak. Now we are going to discuss some questions which are asked based on the same uh, passage or stanza that we just read. Question number eight: What is the function of the gardener? Which function of the gardener referred to in the poem? is in reality regressive and harmful and how and the answer is the function of the gardener is to prune the branches of the bonsai tree to keep it small and attractive the gardener as a symbol of dominant male prevents the growth of a woman thus keeping her under his control it is regressive and harmful for women and society in general question number b in what tone does the gardener speak? What picture do you form of the gardener in your mind as he speaks to the bonsai tree? And the answer is the gardener in the poem speaks in a delighted, satisfied voice because he is the controlling figure who saves and manipulates the bonsai tree to keep it small and delicate. Question number C says, in what way is the gardener wrong? And the answer is the gardener is wrong in the sense that everything and everybody has the right to grow, to keep something or somebody deliberately underdeveloped is definitely wrong. Question number D. What do the last two lines suggest? And the answer is, the last two lines suggest that in a male-dominated world, man feels self-satisfied in his wrong belief that woman is by nature weak, small and domesticated and that she should accept her position as such. Question number three, what does the word croons mean? What does it imply? And the answer is the word croon means to sing quietly in a happy mood. Like when you start mumbling or when you start mumbling or when you start mumbling or when that is called crooning. Like mm -hmm -hmm, mm -hmm -hmm, mm -hmm -hmm, mm -hmm -hmm. This is called crooning. Like, it implies that the man represented by the gardener is happy and self-satisfied by keeping his woman weak and underdeveloped. So, it seems that uh, all these questions, they are taking a uh, whole lot of time. So, what I am going to do, I am going to display all the passages, all the remaining passages and all the questions and answers on the, uh, on the screen and I won't be speaking anything. Like, I will be just sewing it so that you can uh, write it down somewhere okay so we are, we start here from question uh, from passage number three here we go question number a and their answer and its answer b c and d now question number e and here comes passage number four as you can read, you can pause the video, you can read passage number 4. Now I am going to show all the questions and their answers, A, B and C final. Now D and here it ends. So thank you for watching. See you in an, another video. Till then take care. Bye bye.